Um, and good credit, and they are not a student. Now, one thing you need to know about these Boolean operators is that they are short circuit. What do I mean by that? Well, when Python interpreter wants to evaluate this expression, it starts from the first argument. If this is true, it continues the evaluation to see if the second argument is also true. So it continues the evaluation all the way to the end of this expression. However, as soon as one of these arguments is false, the evaluation stops. Let me show you what I mean. So if I change high income to false, when Python interpreter sees this expression, it starts here. It knows that high income is false, so it doesn't matter what comes after. The result of this entire expression will always be false because at least one of the arguments or one of the operands is false. This is what we call short circuiting, just like the short circuit concept we have in electronics. So the evaluation stops as soon as one of these arguments evaluates to false. We have the same concept with the OR operator. So if I change these AND operators to OR, let's see what happens. With the OR operator, we know that at least one of the arguments should be true. So the evaluation stops as soon as we find an argument that evaluates to true. In this case, when Python interpreter evaluates this expression, it sees that high income is false, so it continues the evaluation, hoping that the next argument will be true. Here, good credit is true, so evaluation stops, and the result of this entire expression will be true. So in Python, logical operators are short circuit.